and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about implementing WebSocket client and server in ASP.NET Core. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, let's start by creating a new project, ASP.NET Core Empty Project and name it Simple WS Server. So I have named it Simple WS Server and I'm going to click Next and using .NET 8. Alright, let's, after project generated, then we will get our self bank ASP.NET Core template. We can delete this unused Hello World and change app.run to app.run async do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year do you want to become a software developer within just three months with our amazing course and awesome tutors you never have to worry about getting stuck we help students to learn skills that companies want to hire we are startup hack don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's get started Okay, now to use WebSocket in our project, we call the use WebSockets function on our web application instance. For our convenience, we can also call builder.webhost.useURL method to set the URL and port for our server. In this video, I use localhost as a URL with port 6969. Then we need to map an endpoint to be used for our WebSocket server. We will do this by using the app.map method with our route and context which we will use for handling WebSocket. Here we will use WS as the WebSocket route. So here's the example. Inside the context, we will configure the endpoint to accept only WebSocket connections by implementing a check of context.websockets.isWebSocket request. Then we set the status code to bad request 400 if it is not a WebSocket request. After checking the connection is a WebSocket request, we can use the, this code to define the current connection instance. So here's an example. To send a message, we can use send async method on our WebSocket connection instance. The send async method accept array segment byte WebSocket message type enum bool and of message and cancellation token as its parameter to send a text to the client we need to convert it into byte array and create an array segment byte with it now let's make our websocket server return the current time in hour minute and seconds from every one second to the client we can do this by wrapping the logic that we use to send message inside a while true loop and using thread.sleep 1000 to implement the one second delay we will also check to only send the message when the web socket state is open and break the loop if the state is closed or aborted voila our web socket server is done now to check it we need a web socket client for web socket client i have created a console application so having dotnet 8 support so after creating this application we need to create a web socket client so so I have used client websocket from system.net.websockets. To connect with a websocket server, we can use the connect async method with the URL and cancellation token. So here's the example. Now let's create a task to receive a message from the server while the connection is alive. To receive the message, we can use the receive async method on our WebSocket client instance. The receive async method accept array segment byte and cancellation token. To receive a message, we need to create a new byte array as a buffer, which we will use to create the array segment byte. For cancellation token, we will use cancellation token dot none. So here's an example. Remember that the result is still in byte array to display it as a string. We need to encode it first. We can do it by using encoding.utf8 get string method. So here's an example. Lastly, we need to check if the connection is not closed before processing the result. We can do this by checking if the message type is not closed. So here's a uh, final code for our WebSocket client. So when I run this application, you, as you can see, it is already giving me the current time right now is the tutorial done not net 
We are yet to handle multiple web socket connections sending messages from the client and receiving the client's messages on the server. So let's roll in into handling multiple web sockets connection. Let's implement a simple chat room application by web sockets modifying our previous code. To keep track of multiple web socket connection in the web socket server, we can store the web socket connection instance in a list. So here's example. I have added this and added these connection in a list. To broadcast a message to every client, we can create a function that calls the send async method with every WebSocket instance that is open in the list. So here's example. To emulate a chat room, we will add a username for the connected client which is fetched via the request parameter. We will also broadcast whenever a client is connected. So here's example. Now let's handle the process of receiving messages similar to the client side we can call the receive async method with a buffer while the socket state is open let's wrap this logic into a function receive message so here's example then call our receive message function inside our ws handling code so here's example now to broadcast the receive message to the other connected clients we need to modify receive message functions let's add an action websocket receive result by handle message delegate in our receive message function parameter call the handle message delegate by passing the result of receive async buffer so here's example then modify the original receive message call to pass a lambda function containing the delegate so here's example inside the lambda function we will broadcast the receive text message from a client to every client we can do this by calling our previous broadcast function if the results message type is text so here's example what if we want to keep track of clients closing the connection and broadcasting it to everyone first we need to check if the message type is closed or if the socket states is aborted then remove the closed web socket connection instance from our list then we will call the broadcast method and close async method to close the connection gracefully. So the final code should look like this. So here's the example. You can see that all the code is written over here. So the final code is look like this. So as you can see. We are done with our WebSocket server. Now let's modify our WebSocket client to handle sending message to the server. First, let's add username input, which will be used in the chat room. So as you can see here, create a task to handle sending messages to the WebSocket server. Here we will read the input from user and send it by calling send async on the client WebSocket instance. So also we will add to check the exit room, exit the room as well so i have added this already so here's here you can see that i've added this exit we have both receiving uh, message tasks running asynchronously finally handle the client's exit by sending close async whenever one of the threads is finished then await until all threads finish to the close to the prime so our simple term thread room is ready so when i type and two users are connected so it's already working simultaneously So thank you for watching this video. In this video, we have explored the basic of WebSocket, discussed how to create both a WebSocket server and client, and shown how to handle common tasks such as sending and receiving messages, handling connection aborts, and broadcasting message to all connected clients. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.